Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I've got some fashion dupes for fall 2022 as well as, well, it kind of turned into a whole affordable fall lookbook. I didn't mean it to. Um, I was really just looking to dupe those Spanx pants that I showed in my fall lookbook that are so amazing and so magical. And, you know, a lot of people had said, I can't afford those pants. Do you think you could find something similar? So I set out that day looking for a similar pants. I had linked some and said, I've got them on order and I'll let you know how they work out and I've got them here to show you today because they are great. They're really good dupe for the Spanx pants and you can save about $120 between the two pairs of pants. So I had originally planned this video to be just a little shorty with just a couple of dupes, a pair of booties that I really like and found a great dupe for, the Spanx pants that I found a great dupe for, and my favorite sweater from the Nordstrom sale that I found a great dupe for. But then I was like, well, let me just see what else I have, you know, to go with these things to make outfits. So I ended up putting together an entire lookbook here that is 100% affordable. As always, all my sizing information will be in the info box below the video, and I'll also put next to the item the size that I got, whether I think it runs true to size or large or small. All right, so let's talk about the first outfit that's going to be a dupe for this outfit that I had in my fall lookbook that features those Spanx pants. Now there is something amazing and magical about these pants. Being Spanx, the fit is perfect. You just pull them on. There's no uh, fly or any buckles to do. They're very clean. They don't really have any pockets, so there's nothing to interrupt that beautiful long line from the hip all the way down to the ankle. They're long. These also come in three different lengths. They come in petites, regulars, and talls. I'm wearing a regular, and they are just beautiful. And I think the thing that I loved about them most is that they don't pick up animal hair. I was so amazed because, you know, I live with two hairy dogs and there's dog hair all over just about everything and then, you know, my hair. And those pants don't pick up any lint, they don't pick up any animal hair. <laughs> I haven't had to de-lint them yet. But the dupe pants are very similar in that because I checked the fabric content on both of them and they're made out of almost the same fibers. So here are the dupe pants with the dupe outfit. I tried to match the color of the sweater, but as it turns out, that original sweater is under $30 anyway. And it's one of the best sweaters I had this fall. I love the low V-neck on it, but this other sweater is really cute. It's actually part of a sweater and skirt set that I bought last year. It's a great little outfit. But anyway, here are the dupe pants and they are very similar in fabric to the Spanx pants. They're very similar in weight to the Spanx pants. They're not as stretchy because they're not just a pull-on pant. They do have a full fly with a button and two hooks in here. So if you were looking for just a plain pull-on pant, I wasn't able to find a really good dupe at a really low price point that just pulls on. But these look, once they're on, almost exactly like the Spanx. They are a little bit shorter, but these do come in three lengths as well. They come in petites, regulars, and long. I got the regular. I could probably get the long instead and get exactly the same look as the Spanx pants. They do have a very small working pocket in front, no pocket in back. So the back view on these are a little bit cleaner because the Spanx do have those two little uh, faux pockets on the back. But on the front view, these don't have the seam down the center of the front leg that the Spanx pants do have. They do actually look pretty nice from the back view, so I gotta hand it to them. They are great looking pants. And they're under $50, but when I bought them, they were 30% off, and I just looked at them again, and they're still like 30% off. So they would be under $40. All right, then I wanted to show you a full outfit with the two pairs of pants with a different top that I found a dupe for one of the sweaters from the Nordstrom sale last summer that I was absolutely in love with. It is this square neck sweater with like a lantern sleeve. This was one of my top picks in the Nordstrom sale over the summer. I actually bought three of these in three different colors but I picked up a sweater very, very similar to this that I wanted to show you. And here it is. This sweater is from Walmart and it also has a square neck in front. It doesn't have the square neck in back, 
like the original sweater does. Um, it does have lantern sleeve as well. This sleeve has a little bit of detail to it. It's got kind of an open weave and a stripe pattern on there. It has a fine gauge rib, whereas the original has more of a wide rib. And this is more of a sweatery material. This one is a little bit more of a fine gauge material, but very nice and gives you very much the same look. And this sweater is a fraction of the original cost of this, but this sweater is actually on sale right now as well. Nordstrom really has a lot of great stuff on sale right now. So this is marked down to, I wanna say around $50 maybe from like 89. So if you wanted to get the original, it's not a bad price right now. And then there's also the dupe. And of course the pants on those two outfits I've already talked about. Wanted to show you the booties that I'm wearing with those outfits. So the original booty is this booty that I got last year. This is a Bionic sock booty. And this was like one of my favorite booties last year. I'm gonna wear it all this year because of course it was spendy. I think these were like $170, but to me worth every penny because I have foot issues. And Bionic has great arch support, but um, if you're looking for a very similar booty to that, for almost $100 off, I picked this one up at Nordstrom a couple of weeks ago, and I think it is a really good dupe for the Vionic, but it's a little more on trend this year with the super pointy toe, but it gives sort of the same look. They both have like the sock booty insert. This is a suede, this is a leather. I believe they have this in leather. Um, but this is under $90 normal price. And these are very comfortable. I don't usually go for something with this pointy of a toe. My toes like a lot of room in the toe box, but these are very, very comfortable. And I feel and I think they look so good with the pants because those pants being a flare, they really need like a tapered shoe to make your foot look elongated. So those are an awesome dupe. This one's 170 and this one is under 90. This next outfit dupes some pieces that I had bought over the last year uh, and during the summer. So one is a boucle jacket and I had bought this original white um, Sherpa jacket I think at Nordstrom and then it sold out and was completely gone. And I found this one and I thought this one was so cute. This one is a little bit more jackety, I'm gonna say, than the uh, other one. That one's a little bit more shirty. It's almost got like a suede lining to it. So it feels a little bit more substantial, a little bit more like just more of a jacket than like a shirt, but you can throw it over anything. It looks super cute. I really love this. I've been wearing it a lot this fall. The top I have on under that is like a little sweater tank that I showed you in the lookbook. These are affordable and they are so cute. I bought it in like three different colors, but it's just a super cute little knit ribbed tank and they go great under everything like little sweaters like this you know a little cardigan or a jacket but the pants that i have on there are kind of dupes for a pair of pants that i bought during the nordstrom sale they were a pair of top shop pants that had the split in the front of the bottom of the leg and i was just so in love with these pants still am still have them but i believe they sold out i'll check to see if they're on sale right now but they're beautiful pants but they only came in one length and so they were super long and people who bought them were like, Ugh, you have to be 20 feet tall to wear those. So anyway, I was looking for some of those split leg pants and I actually found two pairs to show you today. Both are kind of like leggings. You just pull them on. So these pants are from Amazon's The Drop brand and I love these pants. They do have like the little seam down the front like the Spanx pants do. So these could also be considered a dupe for the Spanx pants. I got them in a small. I probably should have gotten them in an extra small. The fabric on these is much more lightweight than the Spanx pants and they're not going to like hold you in and push up your bottom and make everything look fantastic like the Spanx pants do, but they do look really nice. They're very slimming. They're very comfortable. They're just like a pull on legging. The shoes that I have on with that are a pair of taupe booties that are a dupe for a booty that I showed you last fall. This is the original booty. This is the Steve Madden. I love these guys. These are their howler booties. I got so much use out of these last fall. They were one of my favorite booties of the year. Wore the heck out of them. I was walking through Target this year and I saw this booty and I was like, oh, wait, if that isn't a dupe for the Steve Madden, it isn't an exact dupe. If we compare the two, you can see that the Steve Madden heel is a little bit bigger, a little bit chunkier, especially from the side view. So the Steve Madden was a hundred for those. Um, and these I believe are under 50. So this is a really cute booty. I've been wearing the heck out of these this fall and I actually kind of like these better 
than the Steve Maddens. They also have a little zipper to help you get in them, which the Steves didn't have. And I love this little snake print detail here on the back. So the other pair of black split front pants that I have, I got these at Target and the price on these is amazing. The fit on these is amazing. But I've worn these about six or seven times already since I got them. That's how much I love these. The fabric on these is thicker, more like a traditional legging than the ones I showed you just a second ago. Those are a little bit more of a nicer, like an elevated legging fabric. You know, they have like a little bit of a sheen to them. They're a little bit more lightweight. These are going to be more like hold everything in kind of leggings, a thicker fabric, nice and stretchy. So I put them on in this outfit with this really cute sweater that I grabbed at Old Navy. And this is just like a big cozy weekender, you know, like when you're hanging out by a fire or just reading a book curled up and you just want to be warm and cozy or you're going apple picking or whatever. This is like a perfect sweater for that. So I really like this. I gotta say, I didn't think this was going to be itchy because of the fabric content. It doesn't have any wool, but this is slightly itchy on me around the neck. So I will have to wear like a turtleneck with it or something else to keep my neck from touching the fabric directly, which is so weird because it's all man-made materials. I believe this is even part like recycled. All right, so this next outfit is not a dupe outfit. It's just a really cute casual outfit that is not very expensive to purchase each of these items separately. At the top of the outfit is this jacket that I believe I showed you guys in last year's fall lookbook. This jacket definitely is one of my loves. I actually bought it in two colors last year, the black and the olive green. I found this uh, sweatshirt that I have on under it. This sweatshirt just feels so good. It's really thick. It's really fuzzy on the inside. It's so soft and so cozy. I love this quarter zip. I love when you zip it all the way up, it becomes like a funnel neck here and it keeps your neck really toasty warm if you're out, you know, like I am always walking my dogs or in the rain. I love putting the hoodie outside the jacket. I think that's a really cool look. So that is a really cute one, very soft material very affordable. The jeans that I have on the bottom are these Wit & Wisdom jeans that I got at the Nordstrom sale over the summer, but I see that these are on sale again. So these are, I think, right around a $50 price point marked down from $89. And these are really cute looking jean. And I love the Wit & Wisdom brand. They're one of my favorite jeans brands that are, you know, more affordable jean. And let me show you these booties. I just got these in. These are so cute. These are so right up my alley. I love a booty like this for winter. You know, it's very cold here. It's very rainy. Um, these, I'm pretty sure, are fully waterproof. It's a man-made upper um, faux suede here, but they have a little fur inside. You could just uncuff the jeans and tuck them right into these boots because they're not a skinny jean, but they're not a super wide boyfriend jean either. So you can wear them with a boot like this that you know, has a little bit of a slouchy thing going on there. But I also put them on with those other pointy toe boots and I think this is a great outfit. It takes it from a super casual outfit to like a maybe hip go out outfit. I really love the look of this whole thing with the pointy toe boots. I feel like I'm gonna get so much wear out of these little pointy toe boots this fall. They're so comfortable that they're like becoming a fast favorite. All right, then I have a couple of dresses to show you. This is one that I bought in the Amazon Prime Day a week or two ago. I saw this one on the website and was like, oh, that looks cute, let me give it a try and it actually is a very attractive dress. The fabric isn't exactly how I was expecting it to be. It's a little bit more lightweight than I was expecting it, but it looks really nice on. I like this uh, knot detail over here and I like it that it is a midi dress. It's got a snap here so it's secure at the chest and then it also wraps all the way around so it's secure where it wraps. I just thought this was so pretty and the shoes that I have on with it are a pair of shoes that I got at Target I want to say last spring. Don't know if these are still available. They just go with everything. I felt like this dress I tried to put it on with some suede boots but it's just a little bit too lightweight to go with a suede boot so I ended up with more of a strappy sandal with that instead. This next dress is a faux leather dress and this is such a beautiful dress. It looks so expensive on. I really couldn't believe it when I got it in. I bought a whole bunch of faux leather stuff um, from Walmart because they're just you know cranking out the faux leather things and I was like that dress looks really nice and sure enough it is. It is really well made. It's got a side zip over here so it's easy to get into. It's got a tie belt and it's just a great looking dress and this is really good for like a work dress or for you know a going out after work for drinks dress. 
I just was really impressed with this. And the boots that I have on with that dress are the black version of these boots. These are a very inexpensive pair of knee-high faux suede boots. I love these. I have them in two colors, as you can see, the black and the gray, because they're just like one of my favorites. They are so comfortable. The heel isn't too high. The toe box isn't too narrow. <laughs> They're easy to get in and out of because they have a little zip down here and they're just a great looking boot. They're not super wide here, but they're a little bit stretchy. So I feel like they're going to fit a nice variety of calf widths. So I saw this one on the Target website and I thought that the neckline just looked so pretty on it. So I wanted to give it a try. And this is a really nice fitting dress. Very flattering. I like these midi length like sweater kind of dresses, but it's not a heavy sweater dress, you know? Sometimes you get those sweater dresses and they're just like so heavy. You're like, ah, too much sweater. Um, this one actually is a really nice uh, weight, but looks great on. You would never know that this was a very inexpensive dress. Okay, and the last thing that I wanted to show you was this little cardigan that I have on. I actually bought this in two colors. I like this so much. It's kind of a um, puffy, fuzzy kind of, sweater material, clearly a man-made material. You know, I have to wear all man-made because my neck is so itchy. If I wear any wool, including cashmere, my neck just goes crazy and I end up with like practically hives by the end of the day. So I wear all man-made materials and when you're shopping at an affordable price point, you're more likely to get man-made materials, but I don't mind them. I think they can look good. But this is a super cute cardigan. It's got really cute buttons. It's not too short. It's not too long either. So it will cover the top of your jeans or the top of your pants. You can wear it open. You can button it, whatever you want. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the little fashion show and the dupes and my attempt to bring you some more affordable outfits this fall. If you were looking for that, definitely give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.